how's everything going? Uh, yeah, well, I, I put a pacifier right in his mouth, and he went to sleep. And I was humming for a while, too. Well, you hummed? Yeah, I, I theme of Star Wars. Good. He's awake now, though. Hey. Have you have you held him at all, or? No, no I, at, at the time, I just thought that would make it make it worse. You think he needs his uh, diaper changed, or? Spoken like a man who wants somebody else to take over for a while. Well. It's fine. Just relax. Thank you. I'll get him freshened up. Appreciate it. Yeah, I'm Carly. Oh, I know. It's strange. A strange place with strange voices and strange people. Stranger than life with Julia? Imagine that. Would you give me a diaper, please? Yeah. What are we doing on the supplies over there? Well, I think we got enough to make it through the night. Well, we're gonna need more diapers, we're gonna need formula, we're gonna need wipes. I know, I know. I'll, I'll make a run to the store if you want me to. No, no, you can do it in the morning. It's fine. <sighs> mm. Well, at least it's not a... This is not a crier, huh? <laughs> but you know what? I bet he is gonna get hungry, so why don't you go into the kitchen? And get a bottle out of the fridge, okay? All right, I should warm it, right? Yeah, but just, uh, just run under the hot water the faucet. Don't use the microwave, okay? Okay, Well, okay. oh, yeah. That's better. You know what? I'll do it. I'll do the bottle, okay? Why don't you just... No, no. Just hold it's, him, it's no big and deal, I'll go Carly, and do I'll it. I'll do it, I'll do it. I'll do it. I said water, I would right? do it. No, no, so I'll, I said... Baby, I I'll do it. I'll do it. I love you for it, but stop. Stop acting like this is normal. Changing diapers, running to the store. Nothing about this baby feels right, Carly. Nothing. How's he doing? Good. Better. Look, I'm sorry about before. I didn't mean to take it out on you. It's okay. Thanks for pitching in. No problem. Yeah, right. No problem. Weren't we supposed to be on our way to paradise by now? Paradise can wait. First thing we have to do is get a DNA test on this little guy. Now I'm one step ahead of you there. I called John from, from the bedroom. He said he'd make the arrangements. Great. And you know, the voice in my head keeps telling me that no test could possibly say that you're the father. But, but what? We are dealing with Julia here. Could she have found some angle that we don't know about? You know that she is just whacked enough to pull how, something how, off. How, how, Carly? The timing doesn't add up. What if he was a preemie? You, what, that's awful convenient. On the other hand, if, if he's not mine... Then how did she get her hands on a baby? Yeah, exactly. Okay, let, let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Let's wait and see what the lab work shows. And in the meantime... In the meantime, it's, well, it's us or social services. What do you want to do? I don't know. Well, it's not my decision to make, Jack. Well, having another person in this house, Carly, especially this person, it it affects all of us. You, me, Parker. Well, how long till the DNA comes back? Yeah, it could be a while. That's what I was afraid of. You know, there's something about babies, Jack. The way they smell, the way their breath feels on your neck. You kind of get used to having them around. Don't, don't go falling in love, Carly. Cops have to deal with this thing all the time. No, they don't, Jack. Most cops do not have to deal with their psychotic ex-wives showing up and crashing their weddings. All I'm saying is, is that it's going to be harder and harder for you to keep your distance. If this baby stays here the whole time while we're waiting for those results, it's going to be pretty tough for you to treat him like a... like a bag of evidence. Yeah, maybe it will. Having him here doesn't feel right, but... Putting him in the arms of strangers feels worse. Okay, so for now, I guess he stays here. Poor guy. You know, he's just as much Julia's victim as you are. Well, please, let's not go there, all right? Hey, I think we should. I think we have to talk about why, it. Why, why do we have to talk about it? It's not going to change anything. If this baby is yours, no, He's Jack, not, Carly. But if he yeah, is... I, I would know how he would have been conceived, Carly. I was there. I'm sorry, I just... Maybe that's what Julia wants. Maybe this baby is her way of making sure that you never forget. Maybe it is.
Dad! Here's a question I've got to ask. If by some slim chance this baby is mine, you sure you can live with that? Well, I think the real question, Jack, is... Can you? Is this your way of avoiding the question? Yes, because I don't have an answer for it yet. Besides, it may be a long night. With infants, most nights are. Okay, maybe that whole thing about me keeping my distance, it's... It's for his sake as much as it is for me. If I don't get too close, at least I can't do any harm. To the baby? What? Well, Obviously, I've got a lot of anger towards the kid's mother. What if I can't separate my feelings for Julie? You think you'll resent him? I don't know. I know you, Jack Snyder. And you couldn't keep yourself from loving and nurturing your own baby any more than I could. I just hope Margo finds the truth and soon. So do I. I should have been more prepared for this. It's always been in the back of my mind that this baby has always been a possibility. Ever since Julia sent me that pregnancy test. She's just messing with your head. Yeah, well, what if she isn't, Carly? Then what? Do we have to sort out every single feeling and have a plan by morning? Remember when I came back from that spa, how I, I told you I couldn't get rid of that awful feeling in the pit of my stomach? Yeah. I finally found a way to get rid of it. Oh. You just have to be patient. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm really great at being patient. Jack, listen to me. It's slow at first. It starts with seconds, and then minutes, and then hours, and then finally days of, of good memories. And then before you know it, those good memories start to outnumber the bad. There's nothing like a little baby to help make new memories. It's an awfully big job for something so little. I think you'd be surprised what they're capable of. Okay, all right, so we've gone from, from saying this baby couldn't possibly be mine to thinking that, I don't know, he's some sort of healing force in our lives. Well, which one is it, Carly? What am I supposed to wish for? Just the truth. And once we have that, we can move on. One way or the other. All right, now, the truth is... I can deal with this baby not being mine. But I'm not sure I can accept the fact that he is. <laughs> 